Hey there, this is a review of the Black Rapid RS4 camera strap for SLR and DSLR cameras. First of all, I wanted to show you real quickly the strap that I'm replacing the uh, Black Rapid strap with. This is my old strap, it's an Optech super classic camera strap. It's a good camera strap and very comfortable and soft and all that kind of stuff, but it's uh, mainly just a normal camera strap that you use around your neck or I suppose you could also use it under the arm as well. I found that when using it under the arm it wasn't quite long enough uh, for me to um, have it be under here and then just you know, lift it up to take a picture like that. It was just a little bit cumbersome. But also one of the main reasons I wanted to get rid of this strap is because it uses these plastic latches and I have found that these plastic latches can tend to be a little bit weak. I've heard of stories of them coming loose and uh, breaking over time and of course that's no good. Your equipment will then tumble to the ground. That being said, this Optech Super Classic camera strap is quite handy, especially if you do a lot of tripod work, because you can take the shoulder strap part completely off and separate it from the camera when you're not using it. So that's a plus for this strap. But uh, anyway, on to the Black Rapid RS4. First of all, let me show you what it comes in. The Black Rapid RS4 comes in this nice pouch that you can use for storage. Uh, it also comes with uh, instructions right here tells you all about it and you know how to uh, how to use it and stuff and it also comes with a black rapid sticker so this is it here I've already got it attached to my Canon 5D MK2 and uh, this is sort of how it looks attached let me sh let me put it on so you can see sort of the design of it and what it's what it's made for so you first you put it around your neck and then it slips under your shoulder like that or I'm sorry under your arm and it's made to be a diagonal uh, camera strap so you know it's like this and you just wear it like this and you can walk around and uh, your hands are free and you're pretty comfortable distributes the weight quite well but when you're ready to take a picture you can simply lift it up to your eye you know take your picture and it goes right back down so it's sort of out of the way inobtrusive uh, relatively speaking and it's not you know cramping your neck by uh, weighting, weighing down your neck or anything like that you know if you want to also you can do a vertical if you want to do a vertical you just take it up do a vertical take your vertical and put it right back down. So this is a really good design uh, in that respect. Seems very well made. As you can see it has a, a bit of a wide pad here which uh, provides comfort uh, around your shoulder. I'll uh, show you a couple of other features of this as well. It has a little lock right here so that once you get it set the camera can't move further back and what that really is good for, uh, and that's adjustable. By the way, this camera strap is fully adjustable in terms of the height of it and all that. So depending on your height and, and your dimensions, you can adjust this uh, camera strap. I have it currently adjusted sort of how I like it. I think the camera should basically sit right here at your hip, maybe belt level or just below belt level or something like that. I've seen other videos where people have it lower, so it's really just a personal preference. But uh, so anyway, as I mentioned, it has this stopper here. So as you're taking pictures, if you happen to do that, and you're taking a picture, as soon as you set it back down, the stopper will just always return the strap to the right place, uh, you know, via this stopper. It also has a stopper here, which you can unclamp and then move down. So let's say you're walking around and you don't want to use the camera. This prevents it from be you being able to slide it up. And so as you're walking around, it makes it more sturdy. When I bend down, the camera's staying there. It's not going any more further, any more forward. So that's a, a plus. And, you know, in this mode, I certainly can't move it up very easily, so that just sort of locks it down uh, when I want it to be locked down. And if I want to then use it, I can just move this stopper up again, and then you know have easy access uh, to taking a shot again. I have a couple of complaints about this Black Rapid RS4, however, and uh, the main one is that it's a bit expensive. It's a fifty-four dollar camera strap, so that's a little bit high. I think it could be you know maybe ten dollars cheaper, and I would feel a little bit better about the uh, the price of it. My other complaint is that the way that it attaches to the camera is nice in that it uses the tripod socket, very sturdy and good way of attaching it. As you can see, the camera rests upside down and it's very easy to just grab and you know you can look at your LCD like that or you can just grab and take a picture. That makes that's nice. But the hardware that it uses is metal. And sometimes I've seen reports that this metal, if you're not real careful, over time can hit and ding the bottom of your camera. So uh, you know, I have no problem with the piece that screws into your tripod socket on the bottom of the camera being metal, but this piece here, the carbiner or carboner, uh, whatever you call it, however you pronounce that, this piece is also metal. I think it would be better if it was rubber, uh, 
you know, um, coated metal or something like that. Uh, that way, when you put the camera in a bag, like if, oftentimes I like to fold this up and put the camera in a bag, in a bag, you know, for storage. The metal is not touching the bottom of the plastic part of your camera. What I've ended up doing a lot of times when I store this is I just take this off. This is this comes off, so you, you undo this carbiner here, and it's just a little latch here that you press, and this comes right off. So you just take it off, and then I just store the camera like that separately, and I store this strap uh, separately so that it's not you know contacting my camera. Uh, I believe that's probably why they include this pouch for you. Uh, also, if you don't want to have this attached to the camera, you can simply unscrew this piece and take that completely off as well. This is what the uh, Black Rabbit company calls the Fastener 3, um, and that's what attaches to the bottom of your camera. So it's a very sturdy connection, and also I don't know if you can see, but it has a little rubber grommet in between the camera body and the tripod socket, so you can really clamp this down and it stays tight and all that if you clamp it tight enough. And uh, so that's a good connection, the way that they've done it. Uh, just the fact that this is metal, uh, you have to be a little bit careful with it. So in practice, generally when I'm using this, it's not an issue, and I'll show you why not. I'll show you that in a second here. So I put the carb runner back on and I tighten it. Once you tighten it, you can't uh, press this by accident. This doesn't press in, so it's pretty secure. It's not going to go anywhere. So in practice, as you can see, the camera metal part is not touching. You know, the 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 strap metal part is not touching the camera. So uh, you know, you don't have to, anything to worry about. The only time you really have to worry about in usage is. If you lift it up to your eye, you know, even if you need, even if I'm doing a horizontal shot, it's still not touching. It's fine. Okay, as you can see, it's just never touching the camera. But when I do a vertical shot, boom! You can see right there the metal is sort of contacting uh, the bottom of the camera. So that's when you sort of maybe have to be a little careful. Even if I do a vertical sh shot like this, as you can see, metal again is almost going to touch the camera. So it's a little bit of a negative. Um, I still use this strap, and it doesn't. I don't think it should dissuade you from getting this strap if you like, you know, this kind of a strap uh, idea in terms of it being diagonal. However, just be careful when you're doing a vertical shot. Uh, sometimes the way I do a vertical shot is I just take it and I hold it like this and I just take my shot like that, or you know, just put I'll place my hand in the middle of it like that, uh, you know, in between the camera and this and the hardware, uh, just to sort of protect the, the bottom of the camera. Now that being said, I don't mind too much if the bottom of my camera gets a little bit dinged up. Um, you know, that's just going to happen through general usage, and I am fairly hard on my equipment. Uh, you know, I do you know, uh, shoot a lot and uh, you know, shoot professional jobs and stuff like that, so it's not a huge deal, but it's just something to be aware of. I do wish that this piece here was rubber-covered metal instead of just metal. That's just uh, my opinion on that. Another thing I wanted to mention is here, as you can see, on this part of the strap, it has a pocket and you can put an extra CF card right in here or something like that. It's not much bigger for much more than that. You can maybe put a couple of business cards or something. So that's pretty handy. Sorry folks, I ran out of uh, memory card, so I had to switch to my iPhone. But I wanted to make a few more comments about the uh, Black Rapid R strap. And that is that uh, you might be considering uh, another model um, other than the RS4 just for added features such as the RS7. The RS7 is the model that I was considering you know, in addition to the RS4. But uh, the thing is that the RS7 has a, a plastic latch on the back of it uh, that enables you to attach other things to it, like another strap that would go around the other arm, and uh, also you know, like a pouch, an additional um, ancillary pouch and stuff. But the problem with that is that it has that plastic strap. As I mentioned earlier, I wanted to get away from that. So this model, the RS4, has no plastic latch on it and that is really a plus in my opinion it just seems a lot more sturdy uh, and stuff like that plus it's cheaper too so the RS4 model is really the one that I like the best it's uh, simpler it has no you know plastic latch on it uh, it's sort of all one strap piece and uh, I really do like that a lot so anyway thanks for watching my video and uh, if you have any questions or comments as always please feel free to leave them and I will see you in my next video. This has been a review of the Black Rapid R-Strap, the model RS4. Take care.